to India. The past weeks have been really heavy for all of us. This is something that we should take seriously because everyone is affected worldwide. To be honest, I haven't really gone out of my house for the past almost two months since I started working from home. So today, I decided to make a video about work from home for now because it really happens. It happened to me and it could be happening to you and what to do about it and how to cope up with it. I'm the type of person who has a fine line between work and personal life. So I always make sure there's a boundary between those two things. Since I've been working from home, I started losing that. I don't really like working in my room because my room is my personal space. This is where I just don't want to think about work at all. But then I have no choice because I'm just not anything. If you're in the office, ka, you're you're more conscious with time. But then if you're working from home, you're not really that matter. Yo, eh. when you're so swamped with work, like you wouldn't even notice the time. You just continue working and working. And then the weekends, you don't really go out. So since you're not going out, you're just at home. But I'm not going out. Okay, fine. I'll just open my laptop and do work. I've been drowning with work, and I don't really go out. So far. I boost myself because I'm like full of work. My life just revolves around work now. So all of the problems are gone. What should you do and what you should not? Number one, the golden rule: avoid OTs. As in, I know sometimes you don't know this time, but then hey, girl, you gotta rest. Don't work on the weekends. I know you. You don't go out and you feel like you have so much free time and you have nothing better to do. Wag na matulog ka na na. So yung mga do's, ito yung mga things na I'm gonna watch over and over again because I need it also. First of all, number one, work in different areas of your house. Your workspace contributes also to your productivity. So try mo nang kung saan saan ka mag work para malaman kung saan ka pinaka productive and that where you would feel like you're in the office. So, don't forget to bathe. Number two, stretch. As in, so wrong for me, important that na pag lakad lakad ka or kahit kung ano you're just going to the ref or pumunta ka lang sa banyo. And then take that lunch break, girl. Always plan a hangout every weekend. So, pwede mag Netflix party kayo or like mag inuman kayo, mag zoom kayo, video call, workout. It's important you still feel like normal. Na parang you're still hanging out with people, you're still talking to people, and your life is not at loss. And then find a new hobby. So it could be learn how to yoga or cook or bake or head and all like just to just preoccupy yourself na hindi lang puro work work work. And then lastly, this is really important for me and it really worked well for me. So hindi lang to hindi lang to applicable so work from home. Kahit sa everyday life mo, always have something to look forward to. I guess that's it for me. So, it's kind of big. Kapag ito, it's what you live in. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you learned something from me. Kahit onti lang, kahit puro na dala ko or kwento na ako ng kwento. And I just know that even though the past weeks have been really heavy for all of us and have been really hard for all of us. I know that this too shall pass. Let's just hang in there and give each other mutual support and love. I guess I'll see you next next week. Bye!